Heavenly Father, we are want to hear your words, Lord. Your words, you know, nothing but the truth, Lord. And also all your words spoken by you, uh, Spirit and life, Lord. We want to receive you know, precious your words into our heart, just like, uh, just like uh, uh, all the vessel, Lord. Lord, give us understanding so that we may understand your words, Lord. Open our eyes understanding and open our hear, uh, ears to be able to hear your words, Lord. When Holy Spirit speak to us, we want to understand your word, what that means, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, let me read the um, book of Psalm chapter 24, okay? The earth is the Lord's, and the foolish thereof is the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from God with salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your eyes, O you gates, and be you lift up. You everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King? This King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, or you gates, even lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory, Selah. All right. Yeah, let me read uh, another Psalms, okay, related to today's sermon. Uh, Psalm 30, okay? Listen very carefully. I will, ex I, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endures but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust depress thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, Lord. Be thou my helper. Thou hast borne for me my uh, mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness. To the end, that my glory my, may sing praise to thee and not be silent, O Lord my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. Yeah, this, you know, Psalm chapter 30 is a prayer given by the King David in Israel when uh, he dedicated his palace to God. Uh, Jesus came to the earth and suffered great persecution from the enemies. King David became the model of Christ to suffer 
and finally he became king of the United Kingdom of Israel. David praised his Lord God, saying, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. Yeah, as he recalled the past years, he gave thanks to the Lord God, who brought his soul out of the grave every time he cried out. In the midst of attack by his foe, the enemies, to testify to all the saints that he remembered the holiness of the Lord God with thanksgiving. He witnessed of what kind of time it was. He said, for his anger endures but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In addition, he remembered when he was in prosperity by the grace of God, he sinned in the midst of prosperity. God hid his face and he suffered as if he descended into a pit of hell. But when he cried out in repentance, God gave mercy on him, and his grief was changed into dance, and God put off his sackcloth and guarded him with gladness. That's right. Not only David, but also the children of God just like us, you know, saved by grace, are supposed to pass the same things in this world. This last time, the devil knowing that his time is short, is crying out to found the one to devour. Be careful, you know. Whenever children of God sin like David, God's presence may be away from us and suffer a painful time. But every time we repent and to change our lifestyle, God restores grace and peace by giving mercy. The Holy Spirit May the Apostle Paul testify about what spiritual, what is the spiritual night? He said that. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night, he's talking about night, okay? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Armor of light. That means spiritually it is almost time, you know, when the sun rising up. Because, you know, you know all of night has passed by. Until the Lord Jesus Christ come again and judge the devil, the rulers of the present world, the children of God, are constantly being persecuted, attacked by the ruler of the devil using his principalities, his government, okay? The power, just like IRS and CIA, you know, just like the power, and rulers darkness, you know, rulers darkness, you know, made them young people, you know, people to take a drug or alcohol, you know, and sex immorality, just a rule of darkness. And the final one, spiritual evil spirit in high places, you know, rebellious spirits. I mean, I have many young men and women, you know, affected by spiritual evil spirit, okay? That is from devil. God's children are being attacked physically and mentally, spiritually, and all sorts of attacks until the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, rises again. The children of God last in living in weeping. Yeah, we are children of God. You know, maybe, maybe weeping now because of kind of persecution by the attack of devil. Therefore, the children of God are proclaiming the gospel of Christ crying in pain and giving light of life in the midst of all their difficulties. A long time ago, when Psalmist, you know, uh, testifies and saying like this, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goes forth and weeps 
the bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. It's just like a farmer, you know, same thing. Children of God, you know, understand how how precious, you know, the words of God is, you know. And then uh, even though being attacked by devil, you know, uh, many uh, wrong situation, persecution, but the interior they all, you know, try to sow the seed of the life, okay? Yeah, they just sheep, you know, bringing his, his sheaves with them. Uh, people expect to see something good in the morning, even though they're in, in the midst of crying all night. Christians will cry in the midst of pain all night, long in the world just like the night. Yeah, this world just like a night. No sun. The sun is Jesus Christ. No Jesus, right? If there is only one hope, they cannot have but wait for the day of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the saints in the underground church in North Korea and the suffering are crying all night long, waiting only for the coming of the Lord Jesus. They're not, you know, pray for unification of two Koreas, South and North. Or well, many other saints in, uh, in, the, in, in the nations of Muslim, in the nations of communists, they, they, uh, they're still crying in the night, waiting for in the morning. When Jesus comes back, they will say, Yet they are sowing the precious gospel of the seed in tears of risk. Yeah. In North Korea, somebody, you know, the found, if they find, found in the midst of, you know, preaching gospel, they, you know, they got sentenced to death. Yet that's why they sow the seed in tears. They are living in the faith that they shall see the morning whenever they are caught by police unto death. When they got, they got uh, you know, caught by police and death, that is the time uh, to see the morning, you know, because they, uh, at the moment they, they die, their soul and spirit, you know, see the Lord. You know, they see the Lord is just a son of righteousness. Whenever they are caught by police unto death, that, that's the time they, they are, you know, kind of you know, suffering finished. And they're going to guard it by gladness. Christians living in all the countries that persecute Christians are also overcoming the world by the same faith. However, Christians are living in the Western free countries such as Korea and America and so on are spiritually disturbed by spiritual sleep in material prosperity. This leads to the loss of God's presence and to a spiritual deception that leads to the life so that they are not so the seed of the gospel not consider it as a precious living just a living religious life you know come to church you know and that's it you know that's religious life hypocrite they're deceived by the devil the devil asks oh you go to church every sunday that's it you know it's deception the bible says that the lord jesus christ is the son of righteousness which is as a bridegroom coming out of a chamber and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and you shall go forth and grow up as carved of the stall. Yeah, you know, Prophet Malachi described the you know, coming of Jesus Christ in the rise of, you know, Son of Righteousness. The children of God who are living in crime for all their, all their life, persecuted by the gods of this world, the devil, right? Live the world of the night, not seeing the Son of Righteousness physically, but they still receive the light of the world of life from the Son of Righteousness through the words of God. It is the moon that illuminates a receiving light of sun, right? Shine to the night, right? And it can shine the light of the King Solomon, witness of a Christian in distant future 
as the moon. Yeah, King Solomon prophesied, you know, uh, this day's Christian, you know, just like a uh, moon, you know, to receive the light from sun. That means, you know, Christian received the life uh, from the words of God, you know, the sun of righteousness, you know, shine to the light. Yeah, listen very carefully. He just, you know, said um, towards a uh, Christian, right? Born again Christian. My dove. The dove is very clean, very holy one, right? My dove, my undefiled is but one. One means one church of God. She is the only one of a mother. She is the choice one of her dad bear her. The daughter saw her and blessed her. Yeah, the queens and concubines, and they praised her. Who is she that looked forth as the morning? Fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. Yeah, army banners. Christian must be. Uh, kind of army of a Christ, you know, lift up banners, okay, to have spiritual warfare with the inner devil. Through the King Solomon, the Holy Spirit preached about what kind of church not defined like the Church of Philadelphia as the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Laws, testified the testimony of the church, which was the soldier of the Christ who were filled with the word of the Lord, the Son of Righteousness, in the pure heart, and put on armor of God, and shine light the gospel in the world just like the moon. The world we live in now is at the end of the night. And the night, you know, that is about, you know, four, four o'clock in the morning, four o'clock through six o'clock in the morning, just before sun rise up. And because of the 2,000 years of history, right, since Jesus Christ, you know, we divided four, you know, the 500, you know, just first one, five or two thousand, second night, and thousand to fifteen hundred is third night, and fifteen hundred through two thousand, it is our first night. It's, uh, you know, just like a four, four o'clock in the morning through uh, six o'clock, you know, just before the sun of righteousness and rise up again. That means, you know, it's about to Jesus, Jesus Christ about to um, come back to the earth, just like a sun. It is the darkest time before the sun rise up. Mark testified about the Lord who walked on the water at night. There is great spiritual significance. And he saw them toiling and roaring. You know, the, you know, disciples was roaring, uh, uh, was toiling, you know, and roaring because of you know wind. For the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch, fourth watch of the night, right? He cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, walking up, walking up unto the sea. He walked on the on the on the water. He would have passed by them. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed that it had been spirit and cried out. For they all saw him and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them and says unto them, Be of good cheer. It is I, Jesus said, it is I. I'm not ghost. Be not afraid. And he went up unto them into the ship. And the wind ceased. Yeah, that's why Jesus Christ walked on the walk on the water in a fourth fourth watch of the night. That means in in you know in between four to six o'clock. Okay, the spiritual meaning. Yeah, that means Jesus Christ. You know, um, uh, pretty soon he'll come back. Just walking, you know, on the water. With his clouds, the Bible says. That's right. Yeah, when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to John, the apostle, and said to him, Surely I come quickly. And John said, Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. 
In the last verse of the Bible, the book of Revelation, he finalized saying, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. That means, you know, to the end, he preached the gospel of Christ, the grace, to this, you know, last moment of his life. He must be our role model of us all. Yeah, we are supposed, you know, preach the gospel of peace, gospel of grace, until he come. You know, saying, Amen, even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Okay? That is our job. We have to live just like a moon. Because at night, the devil has been ruling 2,000 years. Yeah, that's why. It's a night. No light. Only the words of God. Only the son of righteousness. His word is on light. Okay? That's the right. We have to preach the gospel. Then we can shine the darkness, you know, by the, the word of God. We have to act out as a moon until the sun rises up. If sun rises up, our ministry shall be ended. No more ministry. Then he will guard us with gladness. He just, you know, uh, changed our sackcloth into dance. And that is our hope. I just bless you to understand the meaning of today's sermon, okay? I hope, even though you don't understand, if, you know, don't understand now in detail, but I believe sometime you shall understand these words, today's sermon. I bless all of you to have this kind of blessing. Amen.